Good evening, people. It's uh, the panhandler here. Been gang pressed into doing this wee quick video for what some chefs might be doing in the house. Uh, this is something that you can all do. You'll have this in your cupboard. I've been harassed by my son through in the East Coast to tell me to do this. Anyhow, here we go. A quickie. Don't want any questions, don't want any Facebook, there's no product placements, nothing. Here we go. Old rubbish potatoes. Try not to use bad words here. Old rubbish potatoes. Then we can make them into some doping wise with some UHT cream you can have in your store cupboard keeps for a wee while. That's going to be one thing. Old carrots lying about the corner. They'll be fine. Put them in a pot. The pots. Nothing fancy here. Rivets hanging off it. Thick, thick bottom pan. That's going to be glassy carrots. Done in that one. Don't smash potatoes. This is the best pot in the whole world. Thickest base you can get. Guys will tell you to put the dolphin wise straight, bring the cream and garlic to the boil, pour it over the potatoes. I'm going to start them off the pan so it takes a wee bit quicker time in the oven. Uh, I'm going to roast that along with some chicken drumsticks that I got. Put them at the freezer from the restaurant. Don't tell the tax man. Buy one, get one free. These were a fiver. God knows how many I'm going to make. I'm here with my good lady who's in my shaky camera. I'm going to make these into chicken lollipops and the other half leaky potato soup with some cocker leaky with some chicken through it. There's the situation. I'm going to come back to that because I'm going to make it into drumsticks. I'm going to show you how to do it. I doubt if one in ten will even try it. But anyhow, we're going to have some fun. Right, the camera work's going to be dodgy. Direct's going to be dodgy, but we'll have a go. It's for a laugh, remember. Uh, slicing your dough from mashed potatoes, they'll be quite a funny shape, so what I tend to do is take a wee bit off the bottom, make it nice and flat, and then slice them. Slice them quite thin. I'm a chef, I've been cooking since the 60s, so don't try and do it this fast. Um, just take the time. What's going to happen to our potatoes? The garlic, the garlic I've taken and I've put it in slightly warm water because the skin comes off easier in my mind. So, what we've got here. I'm going to use four or five cloves of garlic for that amount of potatoes here. I haven't done any weighing. Everything's, everything's all ad lib. It's my first time trying it. We're going to have some fun. I hope you have fun too. The um, the amount of garlic you put in can just turn up to yourself. Because I'm doing it in COVID 19, you don't need to worry about your breath because it's your partner. They've been with you for a while, so you're both going to stink your garlic. The, um, that's them. We're going to crush them, rub them in salt, and put them in with the potatoes. I'm going, to use, I'm going to use old rubbish carrots that I found in the bottom of the fridge, which should have been put in the bin. I'm going to cook them glassy style. Glassy style is something that the kids might even eat. They might not want to give them too much sugar. It's going to have, um, I'm just going to top and tail the carrots. Cut them into these chunky triangles. Nice unusual shapes. Same style, so they'll all cook them at the same time. They are going to go in the pot. Cherry pot with some butter and some sugar and a wee touch of water. I'm going to cook it and reduce it down. These potatoes are going to go in my nice big thick pan here with the cream, the garlic, and some salt and some pepper. We're going to bring it to the boil for about five minutes so it gets a nice internal heat. Then I'm going to put it in this dish here. The dish is too big, I don't have anything smaller. You'll be the same as me. Pastry brush, I'll just do it with your, with your fingers. So as the potatoes don't stick at the bottom, good brush on the butter because you're going to be going to put the butter going into it. That's that ready for the potatoes to go into. The, um, so, dofie wise, glassy carrots, it's going to be on the stove in two minutes. I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to show you how to do the chicken lollipops. Chefy tip. Sprinkle some regular salt, if you've got rock salt, don't waste it on the board. Give it a bash. It's got a amount of garlic in. Much. And just make a paste. 
Saya akan tidur apa-apa saya Here's the uh, potato sliced, ready to go. Fly in the seat my pants, I've got a cup of this cream. Got a wee splash of, just rinse it out, get all the cream out of it. Some salt. Nice black pepper. Heavily seasoned. Add a little bit of pepper. In goes the garlic. Wash your hands. We'll only do this because the house has been tidied because of this stupid virus thing here. Kitchen's long as shambles. Spent all day cleaning it just so I could cook for you today. This is what the pan hammer and his good lady, the brains of the outfit, is having for dinner tonight. If you like it, say something. If you don't, who cares? It's a bit of fun. Anyway, this is ready to go on the stove. I'm going to bring it to the boil for maybe five minutes. I'm going to put it in my buttered earthenware dish. Should go in about 160, but I'm going to roast the chicken lollipops. I'm going to set it for about 170 in between two of them, so they're both cook at a good temperature. These will take longer to cook, so they're going in first. Um, nothing else to see. Here we go, chicken drumsticks, cheap as chips. Um, it's going to be called a chicken lollipop, God knows why. We've had them on the restaurant, they sold really well. The, the fussing over this stuff here, I think is worth it. You've got, there's a knuckle at the bottom of this. You get your knuckle exposed, heavy knife, one chop down, take it off. Be careful, off comes the top part, and the magic. Push the bone through, and that should get a chicken drumstick ready to rock and roll. I've got a dozen to do here, I don't think you want to see them all, but that's the basis of it all. So, take the, bear the knuckle at the bottom, bear down, off comes the knuckle, bottom part of the leg, the bone here at the bottom, press it through, and they have nice chicken drumstick. Once that's cooked, there'll be some can pick up and munch. There'll be fights over them. There you go. Okay, look at here we have the dough from eyes. They've been cooking away for maybe five, five minutes. Come to the boil, look quite nice. All covered, all seasoned. Then the pan it goes. If you want it to be really chefy, you could keep a, a layer back. Put them a nice presentation there on the top. Seasoning pretty nicely. Just coating the butter. Give it a fight for the crunchy bits on the top. Hope you enjoy this because I'm not. Anyhow, ready to go in the oven right now. I've got my pan on for these things. Do you really need to see it? Okay, I'll show you. Nice fresh pepper again. That's our chicken lollipops. My camera assistant had a bit of bother getting the bone pushed through. Do not be frightened to get the bone and push it really firm. It's firm to get to the top. Then you've got a lovely, nice wee drumstick. Pan quite nice and hot. On my new clean cooker, you touch sunflower oil. Flashing. Okay, 
yeah, the beauty. Tasty golden colour. Get the main current uh, at a twenty four five so you know it's what you've done first. You don't have to worry about getting gold brown because you're going to be in the oven long enough. How long to have that clue? The chair will all be in the oven in the rest of it. Like I say, the gas is set about 160, 170. Now we're going to go in the middle tail. You can shove in anything you like for them. Any vegetables can roast them off at the same time and go in the dolphin wires. I might put some foil on it later on, see what happens, but 25 minutes should be ready. We'll let the dolphin wires rest for maybe 10 minutes when it comes out of the oven. Chefs in their um, wisdom like to take it aside, put it in the fridge, put a big heavy weight on it and let it sit the next day in a kind of gatto fashion that's nowhere near as nice as we have when you come out the oven fresh, runny, garlicky, creamy, it's fabulous. Best way to have them in the whole world, don't care what your Michelin star boys say. That's the best. They might not look pretty, but they'll taste ten times better. Chicken lollipops, you can roast them with some honey, you can roast them with some soya sauce, you can marry them, you can do any one. I'm cooking for what I've got left in the house, just to show you how easy it is to do. Chicken lollipops, dolphin ones. I'm going to shove the glassy carrots on in about 10 minutes and they're ready and ready to rock and roll so that'll be us. That's my nice thick bottom pan, you can do it in any kind of pan. Uh, that's my carrots. Be very frugal with the water, not even half a cup. Not even half a cup, the rest of it's poured away. Chunk of butter. Sugar. One. Two. Pinch of salt. This is a wee shaky thing, sorry to see it. It's a thing called a cartouche. Put a piece of paper you can use. Grease with paper in you want, fold it into a kind of a dark shape, take the circumference of the pot, tear it, put it over, that goes in your carrots, 10-15 minutes, watch it like a hot, it should all evaporate. The sugar and glaze will call, cover the carrots all the way down. It'll be lovely, it'll be nice, they'll be quite soft. I don't want them firm area. They'll be nice nice to cook. They'll be an idea what I come with. Cheap cheery carrots that we're going to bury into, into um, some glassy carrots. Fabulous. are all nicely roasted, nicely coloured, got a caramelisation, that's one part. The doping wise, I'm pretty nearly there. We could, we could leave them in another five minutes if we want, but I think um, that would be enough for what it is just now. The butter come to the top. They've been in for about half an hour. These have been in for 45 minutes, thereabouts. That can sit for maybe five minutes or stay warm enough, still bubbling away. We'll wait until it's ready enough to cut it into a wedge and put it into, a, into the plate, ready to go. The, uh, the carrots were glassy, as we said cooked down to almost nothing. They are deliciously soft. Um, soft, sweet. If you don't like them, I'll give you your money back. 
play all this up in two seconds. I don't have any. I would normally have some kind of gravy or a sauce or something different to go there, but there's going to be so much moisture and flavour in the doves that will do it. So, two minutes will play up. Ready to go, they're on a wee nice warm plate. I'll just use my fingers, I'm going to space this hands here. This is not going to be a very chefy type thing, but it'll be nice enough. Let's have a bit. Just a bit pan out the road. Anybody that knows me knows I've got absolutely no patience whatsoever. The potatoes haven't rested long enough. We had to put our tail on pause because bloody master chefs on the, the amateurs. And my good lady gets to get this live performance every night during this crazy times. There we are. Now, here we go. If I'd waited five minutes, that'd be a bit more set. But you have more time than me. We'll reheat it up tomorrow, put it back in the oven, press it down, there you go. But that's pretty straightforward. Dolphin washed potatoes, glassy carrots, and nice wee chicken lollipops just for the munching. Bon appetit. Maybe see you tomorrow if you're interested, and if I can be bored or it out.